Hello, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I painted some white hydrangeas and some very pale pink roses. If you did enjoy it, please help the algorithm find me by giving me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my videos. And thank you very much for watching. I'm painting with water mixable oils and I have titanium white, cad yellow light, raw sienna, raw umber, French ultramarine blue, sap green and alizarin crimson. Um, canvas panel. I'm going to paint a background over that and um, I'm going to use French ultramarine blue and some sap green and some white and maybe some yellow as well. I'm pretty sure that I did this painting of grapes in water mixable oils and so it's okay for me to paint over it. If it had been in um, acrylics that would have been good too. You can't do it the other way around. You can't paint acrylics over water mixable oils or any kind of oil. It will um, separate, flake off, do nasty things. But we're okay in this case. This paint is quite transparent and I'll add some white and that will make it opaque and it will lighten the whole thing up a lot. I'm adding a tiny amount of alizarin crimson. I, I like to see a little pink in the background. And that's good enough. That's given me a nice neutral background uh, to which um, I can add my flowers. Powder brush, and I'm just going to use circular motions just to blend it all in a little bit. That's a hair, but I have pets and um, it's almost impossible for me to keep hair out of my paintings. So it's a little bit of Pookie or Chrissy. I'm not sure which, probably Chrissy because Chrissy is the one that likes to come up and see me when I'm painting. So I'm pretty sure that's probably a Chrissy hair. I'm using raw sienna and I'm going to just sort of sketch in where my flowers are going to be. And I'm going to have a couple of hydrangeas, a rosebud, and a couple of rose flowers, and maybe a hydrangea over in the background there. I'm using sap green, some yellow, and a little titanium white. And I'm going to say there are leaves here. Maybe something out here. These may stay or some of them may disappear in the painting. And I'm going to say that this is a hydrangea, so I'm just going to put in a daub of paint where I think various things are. Maybe there. And I'm going to put in a mixture of um, raw sienna and French, uh, raw sienna and um, alizarin crimson to give me a sort of pinkish, brownish base to my roses. 
I'm going to put a couple of those in there like that. And I'm going to put in some dark leaves around the rose because it will um, give me something to put my white petals over. It will drag in the green and it will make the petals look more translucent. All right, it's I'm going to work on the um, hydrangeas by putting in, I'm using a filbert brush, a bristle brush, and I'm going to just sketch in some petals, petal shapes, not individual florets, just petal shapes. I'm going to put in the sepals around my buds. Um, there are usually five of them. And they have that sort of, I forget what that's called, but it's like a seed pod on the base where the seeds develop. It's got a name, just can't think what it is. All right. Just got straight titanium white water and I'm using a flat brush and I'm going to pull in some petals on my roses and it will pick up the color underneath. I'm going to say that this rose is sort of facing down in this direction more. So I'm going to pull the petals across in that direction. That's not bad. I'm going to work a little more on um, going to work a little more on my hydrangeas. I notice this in all my videos. I start to talk and then I get caught up in what I'm doing and I leave a sentence hanging. I'm trying not to do that because it's annoying when it comes to editing. And I've got to try and keep what I'm doing in the photograph and try and put my speech together, which means I end up with a lot of um, voiceovers and then the sound is inconsistent. So there's a little bit more to the editing, I suppose, than I'm prepared to um, deal with. And I might have to actually... Um, I might actually, oops, there's a hair, there's a fresh one, okay, got rid of that. I might have to buy a new editing program because I have been using Windows uh, Movie Maker but it's no longer supported so you have to bear with me because um, I have to sort of get it together. Okay, I'm going to add a little... Um, French ultramarine blue. I'm going to say, which way will the light come from? I'm saying the light comes down in this direction. So I'm going to put uh, some French ultramarine blue in to give me 
a sort of shady uh, area to my hydrangeas. Um, I'm going to mix French ultramarine blue and uh, alizarin crimson to give me a purpley colour for the petals that don't reach the light. a little bit better I think. We're getting there. I'm going anyway. to pull out these leaves down here a little bit. I think I need to make them darker. To work on the sepals a little and the seed pod. I think those are rather large, so I'm going to wipe them out. Just taking a damp cloth, squeeze it out well, and then uh, just wipe it out. Anything you don't like, don't worry about getting rid of it and starting over. So I really wanted one here. And another one here. sepals around. And I'm going to um, take a small flat, a quarter inch flat, and just put like a petal in there. I like that better. Now my rose petals are not white enough, so I'm going to 
work on those a little more. Try to keep my brush as clean as possible and I'm going to put in a couple of extra petals just swiping across. I'm going to uh, put in sort of three or four petals at a time to make the florets. And it will help to cover up the cat hair. I'm happy with that, but one of the things I'm not happy with is that I do not have any stems in, and so I'm going to um, do something about that. I'm going to say this comes down here. I'm going to say this rose has a stem that peers down here. And um, perhaps there's something that goes up to this. And let's have something down here. There, yeah, I think that looks a little bit more balanced. And um, I'm going to just put a horizontal line and then a diagonal line to indicate um, thorns because these are old-fashioned roses and they appear on opposite sides Going to mix up sort of orangey color. Uh, 
that's my dog if you can hear that. He sleeps. I took him to the dog park this morning. He's absolutely worn out, bless his little soul. So <laughs> he's napping and snoring. I think that looks better. I think um, if you have all the parts of the flowers in, it just looks better to my eye. Maybe not to anybody else's. I'm going to leave it for about 10 minutes to set up a little bit. And um, I'm going to have a cup of tea and watch it for a while as it dries. Well, it won't dry, but as it see what else I need to do and give it a chance to set up. Okay, so I really like this. It's not a high contrast painting, um, but sometimes I want to do something different. I feel I could get even more light on the petals. So I'm going to um, try that. Find a brush. Just a little on the tip. I don't think it needs very much. And I'm going to put some centers in some of the florets. I'm using a Q-tip and some yellowish green. And I'm just going to dot a few. Not, not much. And I'm going to um, use some a mixture, my brownish pink mixture that I have here, which is raw sienna with a little um, alizarin crimson in it. And I'm just going to dot a few little centers into my roses. I'm going to add a little brightness to my um, petals, uh, sepals, to the sepals. to the stems it looks a maybe a little too bright at the moment but as it dries it will dull down a little but adding that extra color on there adds a little more texture I'm going to add a sort of blue to this side
I'm mixing some cad yellow with some white. I'm just going to put a little strip of light. Just in some places. just to add a little brightness and I think that's all I'm going to do to it that will dull down a little bit as I said um, I put a little darker dot in there on the top. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please help the algorithm find me by giving me a thumbs up. That sorts me out from the thousands uploaded every day to YouTube. And I'll see you next time.